Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Hit the like button if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, remember to hit that bell for notifications for when we drop new videos. guys so today is a new day um, last night we were at the clown motel in Tonopah Nevada and uh, we investigated the motel we also investigated the uh, cemetery had some really cool experiences as you could tell um, tonight we are going to be trying to find and hopefully investigating uh, a place that is known as um, I think it's called Hellhounds Cave um, it's an interesting place. The, it's got a pretty sad history, um, but uh, we'll fill you in on the rest here in a little bit. Um, we're kind of going in this minimalistic, just because it's going to be a cave. We don't want to load in a lot of equipment. We just we just want to kind of shoot with GoPros. We're going to try to uh, use more simplistic devices, stuff that would work in a cave. Um, one of the things that I really wanted to do was try some ITC down in a cave because it's going to be blocking out radio frequencies and if something comes through it's going to make it a lot more legit so that's something that I'm looking forward to trying um, I don't know how this is going to go if we're going to find it we should be able to find it I think we'll be able to find it I hope so that's on the goal on the on the list of to do's today and uh, we're just going to go and get something to eat and then head out there so Fingers crossed this turns out to be something pretty damn interesting. And who knows, maybe we'll catch something that nobody's ever caught before. So, so we went past this uh, old ghost town called Nelson. Um, and when we go past it, the road pretty much dead ends at a state park. We came back up, we pulled over to the side of the road. We've been out walking around, taking a look around. And we've been hearing these stones being thrown. Uh, one was at the state park. Another one was up on the road where we were at. You can't really see it because it's pitch black out here unless, you know, you're here. Um, and then as we came down this hill, uh, we just had a, a something thrown into this bush in front of us. It's about 10 feet in front of me, maybe more, 15 feet. Switch this around, I'll show you where it's at. Right there, that bush. Yeah, we actually had seen an owl. We, we heard, Been a, heard an yeah. owl, and I shined my light and saw an owl. There's no trees for any kind of perching for an owl. And it's sitting um, that's really right, sitting on top of this mountain here, uh, this hill, and it's like it's drawing us that way. It's really strange. And as we come closer, things oh. keep happening. Oh, well, there was, a, there was a random beanie out in the middle of the desert here. It was, that was weird. And then... The fact that um, as soon as I, we discovered it is when we had the, the stone throw. And then now we're down here. And now we're down here, away from the road, quite a ways down the mountain. Yeah. And we're finding cool pieces of, uh, <clears throat> well, I believe it's petrified wood. We found like a whole tree trunk that's turned into stone. And then there's this piece here. Obviously, I just broke this off. Looks like a rock, but it chips away. Not easy? Yeah. I think it's actually petrified wood. Get that piece in there. I got some pictures of it earlier. Um, I'll post that in this video here too. <clears throat> and then somebody that might know for sure can tell us if we're right or wrong. So let's continue. So the fact that this was a, a, an area where there was a flash flood for the can. Beer cans? Yeah. And, um, a deadly flash flood that wiped out um, homes and stores and automobiles. What year was that? Do you remember? 74. 1974. So this was uh, probably the, the river bottom at one time. Yeah. Close to the area. You know, to the river there. Oh. Well, I'm going to venture up to that. See what's on the other side of this peak. So 
So last night was a was a trip, um, pretty weird. And um, today we're going back out to Nelson to check it out. Uh, we're gonna look around a little bit. We hear there's gold in them hills, so who knows, we might find some. Josh is coming with me. Put your mask on, Josh. Um, we are in the cemetery now. We found it. The Nelson Cemetery. Hard to see because of all the foliage that's grown up here. But uh, some people still live around here, apparently. And some of these graves are still new, but there's going to be a lot of them. I'm sure that's going to be pretty old from the mining days. Um, we're going to take a, a walk around the cemetery and everything. Um, there's a building up here. I don't know if that's a house or not. But we're gonna look around. Join us, won't you? Won't you be my neighbor? Let's take a look here. See, this one's 2009. So yeah, there's there's some recent ones here. 1966, 1800s. It looks like. This one died in 1918, 1949, 2006. Henry Case died 1939, July 21st, I guess, or 20th. Looks like part of the wood's missing here. Kennedy. A lot of people died in This is Letty Bridge, 1892. Probably the oldest ones right there so far that I've seen. No, those are 1972. Well, maybe not old. Freemason. All the way out here, that's interesting. Hey, this is the top of the cemetery right here. Yep, it's the end of it. This land right here across this drive, it's got a no trespassing sign. This land right here has got a no trespassing sign. So it's right across the road, the road comes up and curves around. But this is all newer stuff up here. The older stuff's down there. And then they had giants. <laughs> This is like real wild west and the stories that they told us, it's like it, we're still in the middle of it because they said people will pull guns on you if you're doing the wrong kind of stuff. So nothing's changed around Nelson. So um, we're actually going over this little hill. We thought we spotted something from the road and it looks like a cave entrance uh, or maybe a mine yeah. entrance, I don't know. Do you want to go down there to check it out? I mean, yeah, we can. Yeah, we could, I mean, honestly, Honestly, could stay the night down here. Mm. Couldn't you? Yeah. I'll be scared. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you know, um, 
even at our grandpa's, Grandpa Howard's house, he had that cave that it was a dynamite. What was that? That sounded like a bark. 